Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here today because I have a very special guest. This is my roommate Alyssa and I thought it would be fun if we or if I had her basically judge books by their covers. So I'm going to show her the cover of all these books that I have planned for her and she's just going to come up with her own plot. So let's get started. Alyssa, how do you feel so far? I'm nervous already. <laughs> okay, would you consider yourself like an avid reader? No, no. Okay, so you're probably not gonna know any of these books. Definitely not, none of them. Okay, even more fun. So, we have Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. So, <laughs> so um, why don't you just go ahead and look at the cover. I'm seeing a lot of um a lot of stress going on. Oh, okay. Are those swords? Do I get to answer ask questions? Yeah, yeah, no, you can ask questions. Those are swords. Alright. Of some kind. Alright. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's just no context clues here that I can use, but no. Nope. Uh I'm gonna say the books about this chick right here. Okay, yeah. That's good. She uh looks like a boss like if I had to describe her personality I would say she's an eight maybe like me okay like very go-getter like yeah. fight me kind of woman you know you're really on it right now okay yeah <laughs> um well other than her personality I don't know she probably fights in some like war thing <laughs> I don't know a war okay. with some mystical creature because I know this is a fantasy book, <laughs> but I don't know anything about fantasy because I've never read one in all my life. Yeah. So I don't know like what this is a vampire, a vampire war. That's my best guess. Okay. So it's. Did I get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, you didn't. <laughs> um, it's not about, it's not a vampire war. None of it I will say. Is there a vampire it, in the book? No. Right. Um, okay. But they are, um, it's not vampires, but they're like fae. So they're like fairy. Okay, a fairy. Maybe. So, yeah. Um, but no. So basically in this book, she is a slave in the beginning of the book. Okay. And she, because she did this like whole like rebellion and she is asked to join this competition of warriors. Um, so basically think like ninja warrior, but like to the death, um, to be the king's champion so she can have her freedom. I kind of get a little hunger game there. You know? Yep. That's a good, that's a good equivalent. All right, best. Great job, great job though. Next book, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Okay, The Hating Game. We have another male and female in the Correct. Cover. Um, okay. I feel like they know each other, but they don't know each other. And they're the, they, these are our main characters here. They know each other, but they don't, they're like, not friends, more like acquaintances. And I think that they really try to hate each other and they hate each other from the start. <laughs> but then as they go, they're trying so hard to be like, you're a brat, you're a jerk, I hate you. But they can't because they fall in love. Is that it? That's all I got. Okay, all right, you know, we were halfway there. Okay. On the cover is a boy and a girl. <laughs> um, and you would consider this basically like a workplace romance. Okay. If you can tell by the, okay, the, attire. the work attire yeah. here. Mm -hmm. I didn't um, really go for that one. And it definitely starts off, yes they do know each other, but it definitely starts off like they hate each other. Yeah, the yeah. Hate, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're both competing for the same job. So they don't fall? They, no, they do. Um, but basically, the reason that they hate each other is because there was this big miscommunication. 
<laughs> okay. All right, so the next book, don't read the back. Okay, I can't read that fast anyway. <laughs> the next book is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Okay. This book, let me be confident, here we go. This book is about Addie LaRue. <laughs> uh, and she is invisible. Okay. Yeah, and um, she, the invisible wife of Addie, it's all about her life and how she's invisible and the effects that her invisibility has on her. And at times it's probably pretty dope because like she can sneak up on people and them not know. But also at times it's probably really sad because like, you know, the girl in the corner that's like, that's probably her too. So, I don't know. She probably does some crazy things. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, you're quite right. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a story about Addie LaRue and her life. Um, however, she is not physically invisible. People see her. However, no one remembers her name. So anytime she walks into a room and she makes acquaintances, if she were to ever leave that room, they would forget her. And she's not allowed to write her name. So she will have no impact. Who made that rule that she can't write her name? <laughs> the author. Okay. But yes, okay, so, v <laughs> so basically um, to start all this off, Addie LaRue is basically being married off and she's like, and no, I'm an independent woman. I don't want to do this. So she does, you know, a pretty reasonable thing, I think, mm -hmm. is run. she runs away. That makes sense. Um, and then she goes and uh, a neighbor once told her because she liked to hang out with this neighbor who was this like old woman and she was like hey never pray to the gods after dark mm -hmm. because they're crafty and mischievous and they'll get you mm -hmm. and you know what she does she does it she does she it. it she prays to the gods after dark um, and it really backfires on her so um, it's basically her living this life where no one remembers her um, and she has no impact. But then she meets someone who remembers her. And that is all the synopsis gives. She... Well, thank you guys so much. That is all that we have for you today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. But thank you guys so much and have the best day.